hi guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to show you guys how to make this fanny pack and uh, we are not going to be using a pattern for this i'm going to show you how to draft your own pattern and then make your own fanny pack so let's get straight into the diy so to start off you just need some paper and a small dinner plate the diameter of this dinner plate is 19 centimeters and then you just trace out the round shape and then cut it out with the scissors after that you fold it in half and then also cut it in half so these are the other pieces that I cut out for this front part, you also need a 29 centimeters by 10 centimeters strip of. Then you also need 10 centimeters by 19 centimeters for the back part of the fanny pack. So that is the bottom piece, and that is the top piece. And the diameter of them is both 19 centimeters and then you also need uh, this little template for the little side pieces and these are 10 cent 10 centimeters and 6 centimeters and the whole total length of the strip is also 10 centimeters I used the templates to cut out the interfacing and for the side pieces you need to cut four on all the other pieces i cut one but then for the side pieces you need four and you're going to see why we need this later then i start to iron on the interfacing onto my fabric you notice that this is not my usual african print fabric but plaid is actually one of my favorite prints and this is what i decided to use for today's project So after ironing on the interfacing, I now just cut it out using a scissors and I don't leave any seam allowance on the sides. I just go ahead and then I cut it. Then I now insert my zipper foot and then I go onto the front piece and then I start to sew on my zipper. Then after sewing it on, I just ironed it down and then I top stitched. I now also attached the other side of the zip onto the top part of the little bag. And there I just Put those pegs to hold it in place before I went on to sew it on the sewing machine So after sewing I have something that looks like that and then I attached the bottom piece so you notice that I cut the bottom piece a little bit smaller if you want you can use the same size but I trimmed it down just to make it a little bit smaller and then I attached it onto the bottom I'm 
then I just went ahead and then I stitched it as well I just trimmed everything to size the I just trimmed everything And then I inserted the big piece and then I just pinned it down. Then I just went ahead and then I sewed it down on the sewing machine. After that, I now went on to the little side pieces. And then I just basically started folding them on the shorter side and ironing them inside. Then I would take two of them and put them right sides facing each other and then sew the sides together. Then I went ahead and then I turned them inside out. And then I would insert them onto the sides, making sure that the raw edge is going to be on the inside, just like that. And the side which I folded and ironed is the one that I insert into the fanny pack. Then I'll just put pins. Then I also did the same thing for the other side. And then I just went ahead and then I stitched on both sides. So after stitching the little tabs on the sides, I also went ahead and then I did a zigzag stitch on all the seams to make sure that it does not fray and just make it a little bit stronger then when I turn it inside out I have something that looks like that so for the inside lining you just go ahead and cut out like almost um, the same size of the you use your templates to cut out the same pieces but then you only need the back the top the bottom and the front you won't cut out any side pieces so the parts where you would normally attach the zipper you would just fold and iron and then I attached the pieces so it's just the top the bottom the back and the front and on the top and the front piece, you, that's where you just fold and iron.
just far away, but I'll stay, I'll stay. Just take a leap of faith, we'll find a way for you and me. Can't look back, can't run from what I feel inside. There's no more time to hide. Then you just quiet and then you stitch everything together the same way that you stitched the plate or the printed pieces and then I just joined everything together you now turn back your fanny pack inside out like that and then you insert the lining and then I just put pins at first to just to hold it down And then I used sort of like a hemming stitch to just hem it down using this invisible stitch and just try to make it as neat as possible and then the last thing to do of course is to turn it inside out. Then after that I inserted all the fastenings, the belt attachment and then I sewed everything together. So that is all for today's project. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm really interested in seeing how this project would look like on African print fabric. So please, if you do it, please let me know. Maybe I'll also do it and I will share it with you on my Instagram or my Facebook. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next ones. Bye.